G'day everyone, Lux Horse here. Hidden Areas is the series where in each part we take a look at some of the many hidden areas strewn throughout Warframe's wonderful tile sets. Now some Tenno may not have seen these hidden areas before, while some may have seen these featured hidden areas thousands of times or more, but have some stories to share. So there's hopefully something for everyone in this series. With that being said, welcome to Hidden Areas Part 5. Now before kicking into the assorted hidden areas, thank you to everyone who sent through suggestions, including descriptions and some who went the extra mile with plenty of pictures. A lot of your suggestions are featured in this video, so a huge thank you to you. So moving into our first hidden area, and we're traveling to the Corpus Ship tile set, and this has been a very popular suggestion. You'll see that it just looks like your standard Corpus tile, but when Mesa runs into the elevator and looks right up, right up the top there, you can see sparks flying around, which looks interesting. So let's take a look. And in saying that, obviously just don't go the wrong way in the elevator, of course. Hmm, all right, so we're making our way back up now, and we're gonna head up to where those sparks are. And what do we have here? A hidden area with plenty of containers and lockers for you to check out for some goodies. Thanks to everyone for your suggestions for this hidden area. Next, we're heading to the void, and in my previous hidden area, video, one of the areas that was shown was this long hallway. Numerous Tano pointed out there is another area that can be found, so let's take a look at that one now. So just run through, laugh at the dancing corrupted on the way through, and keep heading for the door which is straight ahead. As you get to the door and go through, you'll notice in this room it looks like a dead end. Luckily for us it's not, as to Inoros's right there is an open gate, which looks like a place for him to enter and explore. Jump on in and follow the rabbit hole until you come across another area with all also another chance to take in the beauty of the void. Check the containers and lockers for any goodies and your job here is done. Staying with the void now, and this next area is like mini hidden areas in a bigger one. So this tile is a beautiful huge area and lasers can and will go all over the place. So keep an eye out for those too. Now as you're wandering around and either dealing with baddies, lasers or taking in the beauty of this particular tile, make sure you look up because you'll see four grates up on the walkable area. These hidden areas are protected by destructible grates, so head up to to each of them, break the grates, and see what items are waiting for you. And like I said, little areas inside a big room, but when you're racing through to get to the capture target or to extraction, these could be easily missed. Our next focus area is again in the void, and you'll likely see this tile a lot if you're running mobile defense missions. With multiple entrances and exits, split levels, and lots of space overall, it can make for some interesting times, especially in high level void runs. But you see that raised section there? It's not just something to create a point of difference in the tile, it's hiding another hidden area of its own. So Oberon has seen what looks like a lower entrance through the water and has moved into the hidden area where the full gamut of collectibles or scannables can spawn in here. So always give this area a check over before moving on to your next objective or extracting. Next up we're moving into the Auric and Derelict which is another beautiful tile set. It's time to see a similar ray section and let's check out what may be underneath. Now Oberon has a bit of a wander around the tile and then comes across the entrance to another hidden area. Jump inside, check out what's in here and it's time to move on to the next next one. And we're going to stick with the Auric and Derelict here, and Oberon is starting at one of the main starting locations for the Auric and Derelict runs. Now, there is literally going to be a hidden area entrance staring you directly in the face as you walk through the door there. Now, as Oberon makes his way through the door, you see that overgrown section dead ahead, which just, well, looks really like nothing at all. That's actually the entrance to that area, so jump on in and check out the smallish area and move through to a slightly open area, and here's the thing. There's also a hole in the roof, which you can get to the upper level from here, of course, if you're up top dealing with baddies, you can always drop down into the hidden area via that hole too. Next up, we're heading to every Tano Mima's favourite planet, Uranus. And here we find Avara has been running a spy mission. Now with one of these vaults, have you ever noticed that it looks like there's a room that runs directly above where the vault is? But how do we get there? Now going on the other side of that water area and taking a look around doesn't reveal an entrance. So let's head back to where we were and see if we can find something. Now that area does look promising. That area that just on the upper rocky roof area Area. Seeing as how it looks like a place we can get into, Avara gets up there and yep, there we go. Up into this section and there's an area across the side of the water. Do what you need to do to get over there and another hidden area has been identified. A quick note for Syndicate Medallion Hunters. I've had Syndicate Medallion spawn in this little area in the past. Next, we're off to Lua, which is an absolute cracker of a tile set. Now, have you ever found yourself running through this particular tile, thinking it's completely unremarkable and just wanting to get straight to your next engagement? Well, before you do that, 
Check this little side area out. Running up the rocky formation behind the main wall reveals a small little area hidden out of sight that you can check for goodies from containers and lockers. It's a small hidden area to be sure, but one to keep in mind on your next visit to Lua. Our next featured area takes us to the Grenier Asteroid Tile Set, and this tile comes up a lot. But guess what? There's a hidden area here too. This has been another popular suggestion, and thank you to all of you that have suggested it. So Mazer is on her way, and she's using the assorted Grenier platforms to make her way over to that solid looking structure. I mean, you could just bullet jump straight up to the structure, of course, but where's the fun in that? Now keep on moving around the structure until you come across a large industrial fan with sparks emanating from it, and you know what that means. Destroy the fan, move on through into the room, and you'll notice directly above you, there's a dislodged grate on the floor. So jump on up through that space and check out what awaits you in this asteroid tile set area. Our next featured area takes us to one of my favorite tile sets in Warframe, Ceres. This hidden area is somewhat of a rarer variety, but is generally found in tunnels, which shoot off from the bigger, more open tiles. As we head in, just deal with any of the baddies who might try and disrupt your tour and take a look around this area. You'll notice there's a raised platform at the end of the room, and if our look at raised platforms during this vid is showing us anything, there's likely going to be a hidden area underneath. So as you see Equinox is moving around, she'll be able to see parts which indicate that there is an open space under the platform. Keep moving around the area, trying to find the entrance. You'll come across the entrance, head on down to check out what awaits you, and now it's time to move on to the final couple of videos which will be focused on the earth tile set. Now our first earth tile which comes up is likely one that you'll see very often, especially if you're searching around the corners of the tile set for syndicate medallions. There's basically two major sections to this tile with upper platforms and assorted lockers and containers for you to check over. But did you also know there's a pretty well hidden tunnel which you can get to another hidden area? Well, time to check it out. So coming over here to where the really nice waterfall bit is, look straight up there and it looks accessible. So jump on up and yep, looks like we can move on through and check out an area that was definitely hidden. See what's available for you to search through, and it's time to move on to the next area. Next up, have you seen this big hulking piece of machinery here while running through to your next objective? I mean, there looks like there's an entrance via that silo door thing, but it's blocked by rocks. But your minimap is telling you there's stuff directly below you. Looks like we've got ourselves another hidden area. So after checking for any switches on the top side near the machinery, Mesa drops down and takes a look around for any entrances. Moving around the far side of the machinery sees the opening of a tunnel, which looks like another area for you to check out. Run on in, check it out, and see what's there for you to grab, and now it's time to move on to our next featured area. And this tile is another one that'll likely come up frequently for you if you're doing excavations or mobile defense runs on Earth. Multiple entrances and exits, multiple levels, and it just looks so good too. But did you know there's also a tiny little hidden area that you can check out? Well, if you take a look under this raised platform here, you'll see there's a bit of a bright light happening. So jump on in, and there's a little tiny area for you to check out and see what you can grab. And moving on now to yet another beautiful tile from the Earth tile set, and this is both huge and gorgeous at the same time. The water flowing from above, lighting, it all just looks fantastic. After you've taken in the view, taking a look above where you are will help you identify a hole in the roof which appears to lead to another hidden area. Do what you need to do to get up there. In my case, my operator Raven got me up there, and there you go, another hidden area located. Check out what's up here for you to grab, and head out the big pipe, and take a bit of time to take in the view again. Now our final featured area for this hidden areas part 5 video is kind of fitting because it's close to extraction. So while Equinox started off nearly at the extraction point, she heads back a bit and you can see there's like a fallen segment on the side of the cliff over there, but the lighting looks a bit different at the top point. That's a bit suspicious, so let's check out what that is. Now jump on down, climb up that segment, and yep, it's definitely a hidden area for you to check out. And with that being found, Thank you again to all of the viewers for your suggestions which featured during this video. Now that's it for just some of the many hidden areas of Warframe featured in this Hidden Areas Part 5 video. Now there's been a number of videos prior to this one and I definitely encourage you to check out the Hidden Areas playlist which I've linked in the video description below. And after checking out that playlist, have you got a suggestion for a hidden area that hasn't been shown off yet? Well, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below with as much detail and pictures too if you can of where your hidden area can be found and you never know, your suggestion might make it into a future video. And I'd also like to say a huge thank you to viewers who keep their comments positive and share their experiences for other Tenno to chat with them about and never feel the need to drop down into snarky or negative commentary. I definitely appreciate your support. Now, what did you think of the hidden areas in this part five video? Well, make sure you let me know in the comments section below or on Twitter at LuckTorse. And in finishing up, thanks for watching this video, everyone. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel
channel if you haven't already. Like the video if it helped you out or you just simply enjoyed it. Check out my Twitter and I hope you're having a blast searching around Warframe, whatever tile set you're getting around on. Cheers.